we see guys the school beans sign very beautiful open before eating god damn it and i'll try to weep her okay it's weeper but still she looks like mama bertha she weeps what does weeper do she weeps hey yo guys me i'm Sarka. welcome back to last dinner survival so today we will continue our adventures in the free to play account but before we go anywhere else let's just take these experience buffs and some people still tell me that cyrix sometimes seeds give you different buff guys seeds give you all the time the same buff i've never seen seeds giving some different buffs so remember seeds give you 100 percent to your experience 30 seconds advertisement, are you kidding me? Here we go guys, we just got the effect and I would feel pretty dumb if actually maybe those seeds gave different buff, but I've played this game for over a year and I've never seen seeds giving a different buff than that, so I would probably be pretty confident that it gives the same buff. So guys, let's go to actually our backpack and let's get some skills. I've been playing this game a little bit off the camera. Here we go, we got a roll skill, active skill, very nice, very nice. Here we go, we're gonna get quick learner there as well. We got some experience, we got some things, and now we're gonna go to motel because I wanna show and even prove to you and to myself that actually motel is pretty good because usually when I go to motel on my main account, I don't really care much about it because I have basically everything I want on my main account. I've been playing in that account for really quite some time, so I don't think that there is something that I really need in my main account. But here, guys, I feel like here I will need something. So we will see how good is Motel for free-to-play and especially for newcomers and last day on Earth. But first of all, let's take the seeds because this is what I'm doing off the camera. Just basically, guys, grinding seeds and cooking carrots. This is what you gotta do as well. Like, you don't have to grind here last on Earth for a long time to realize that. Just go to forest, get Get some seeds, come back to the base, cook them, and repeat that process 100 times. And also get some more coal. So this is just, guys, basically what I'm doing off the camera. So let's go, guys, to our first ever motel on this account. I do know that it's gonna be pretty easy to do it. All you have to take here is just probably, like, one crowbar, and you're gonna be done with it. But I did take a machete, just in case if, for example, my spear breaks and I'll run into trouble. But I feel like everything is going to be alright. And I didn't take any hatchets, because I'll try to craft those hatchets there in the area. Well, I haven't been in the motel for for quite some time so i forgot how cool the road looks like also we might get here maybe even some wood i'm not really sure i do think that maybe motel is great location for newcomers but pretty bad for older players well i'm not sure whatever let's go let's try to kill these roaming zombies at the same time we're gonna get some experience and i'm not even sure how efficient it is to do the full motel because i feel like doing full motel isn't even really that much worth it what i would do is just go to that countertop and get that energy drink and if it doesn't have the energy drink then just get the hell out of there because i think that that's what I will be doing in the future because doing full motel might not be that worth it as it doesn't really have that great loot. Whatever, here we're gonna kill that roaming zombie. And plus, guys, we are now new level, gonna get some more skills. Killing these zombies one by one, pretty fine. We can do this with a spear. So definitely, guys, motel isn't a location where you need to spend here a lot of resources will i be able to for example attack the zombie through the chair yes exactly guy was able to attack and let's try to loot this countertop if it's gonna have at least one energy drink i will be very happy but i doubt that but we will see well we got no energy drinks we just got a beer like god damn it this is sad a little bit guys literally that's a little bit sad but whatever i'll try to do the i'll try to clear full motel just for the sakes of checking out myself what kind of loot we get there because i do know that we get trash but i just want to see if it's worth it for the newcomers i say a lot of bad stuff about the motel and i just want to make sure if my reasoning about motel is proven or no because so far i didn't even get here an energy drink so it's not really worth it and plus it's a free-to-play account guys it's a newcomer's account so if i won't take that stuff that means i don't need it whatever here we go let's try to destroy this gas cylinder the thing is going to explode Bada bing, probably some zombies are gonna start running out of there. Okay, there is just a lot of bunch of roaming zombies, guys. I feel like we're gonna be able to destroy them pretty easily one by one. Except that they will start destroying us as well. And plus, I have here the dad set. And that set is, like, literally the easiest thing probably to craft here on Last on Earth. So don't worry about it. You're gonna be able to craft it yourself. Here we go. There we, we're gonna have Mama Berta. We might actually go there and kill that Mama Berta. But I'm not sure if we're gonna go there now. I just wanna go here and kill a couple of Frenzy Giants. I mean, this is a fast biter, not a freaking Frenzy Giant. What am I talking about? I want to see if this shelf will have like some sort of a crowbar because killing mama Bertha with this spear is going to be a little bit tricky. She has some health. Well, we got a paddle. I don't think the paddle is even worth it. Well, we got some shoes. Maybe I missed some shoes in that other area, but hey, whatever. Here we go. Let's get, take the skill. I totally forgot about it. Let's get some logger and I'll try to weep her. Okay, it's weeper, but still she looks like mama Bertha. She weeps. What does weeper do? She weeps. 
But she doesn't do a lot of damage. I totally forgot about it. I thought she does like 20 damage. But it's like literally pretty easy bow. So we're gonna do this crap with the spear, guys. Okay, she weeps once again. And I got stunned. Very good. Please don't destroy me. So she has 40 health left. I think we're gonna be able to finish her off pretty soon. Here we go, last punch, bada bing. Did she give us something? Okay, some rope and some of these patches. And I'll definitely be picking up patches because, guys, in this uh, account... Not even in this account, everywhere, guys. Patches are pretty worth everywhere. So definitely pick that crap up as you'll be able to craft sets with it. And you will be able to craft bandages with your patches and... Just do it. Here go eight kids, dad's hat. Most likely not gonna take it. I'll be able to grab the dad's hat. It's just gonna take my space in the inventory. Here we're gonna kill this fast biter, and then most likely I'm gonna go outside to search for a for some stone and wood as I need to craft like at least two probably stone hatchets to be able to chop down these walls. Well, we got some glue. Like glue is worth it, nuts, this and that, and USB flash drives. Like we probably need them to get those electronic circuits. But again, like, is this something that newcomer needs? Like, for example, if I'm I'm gonna start now last on earth and if somebody asks me well how to get those electronic circuits i'm not gonna say go to motel there you will gonna be able to get two usb flash drives no like those electronic circuits aren't even needed for newcomers don't focus on it as it doesn't give you anything the only thing that newcomers should be focusing about is wooden carrots even though that sounds like bad and maybe a little bit boring but literally that's what newcomers have to do there is nothing else to do in last on earth besides chopping down wood and grinding things here we go, guys. We crafted one hatchet. I will take some stones and maybe I'll even chop down one pine tree. We see, guys, this cool beans sign. Very beautiful. Open before eating. God damn it. Whatever. Here we go. I have a hatchet. Let's try to chop down this little door with a couple of zombies inside. Okay, there are only two zombies. I think there were more hands than zombies. I think there were like six hands. I'm not sure I didn't count that, so... Don't quote me on that. But the more I do motel, the more I realize that really, guys, the only thing that you have to do in motel is just hop in there, do that countertop, open probably that uh, racing car that's in the swimming pool, and then just get the hell out of there. And that's it. Because so far, guys, loose is pretty bad. Well, there was a camera you should have taken it to get lenses blah 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 trash that do do i guys look at me i am level 20 do i need lenses like is that really worth it is that what i really need it's not like there is a lens it just has like what you probably have smaller than one percent chance to get that lens from that camera do i need it like does a newcomer need that freaking lens do i need that lens there are better ways to get lenses rather than just recycling that one camera i don't have infinite amount of space here so it's not worth it i didn't even get a weapon couldn't even do that with a spear so whatever we're gonna finish those dudes with machete guys let's go let's try to kill the floater bloater at least it's gonna be a bit faster should be saving those machetes for something else rather than this area but hey here we go let's get some more wood let's open up the chest it's a shelf or whatever here we go what we go we saw in more thick cloth i mean thick cloth is good and no more hatchets what now I'm just, guys, searching for wood because I have enough stones to craft another hatchet, but I don't have enough wood to craft it. So hopefully, hopefully, I will be able to find, uh, like, at least two more sticks now. Whatever, we're gonna try to sneak up on this dude just to save up some weapons. And here we go, guys, I see another stick. So one more stick for me, and I'll be able to craft another hatchet. Here we go, this dude dead, we got C card, totally don't need it. Here we go, have enough sticks, so let's craft a hatchet and let's go back inside of the motel. And I do know that there will be probably some people telling me that I don't know what I'm doing here, that motel is the best location that I've ever went to, that motel is their source of happiness and last on earth. And if you really like guys motel, then props for you, but I would say that so far guys, I've done the motel and I don't really think that it's a great location, like I'm not gonna lie guys. Here we're gonna try to chop down this room because I feel like here we can find something good. Here we go, last roaming zombie. They're all dead. Let's take the patches. Let's take some other things. Bada bing. And plus, I lost my set. Here we go. We're gonna probably equip some shoes now so that at least we have a little bit of protection, at least for our feet. We got some duct tape. I mean, phone might be great to recycle again, guys, to get these electronic parts, to get those electronic circuits. But do I have, guys, enough space to take it? I'm pretty sure I'll need my inventory for something else. And again, I don't even have have another hatchet how many freaking hatchets i have to take here i have to take here three hatchets i thought that i'll be able to craft them here but hey apparently it doesn't work but the point is that room this room doesn't have anything here great anyways the only or maybe it's gonna have something god damn it had to take some wood and stone from our survivor's diary because i thought that there will be enough resources to craft hatchets here but i can't find guys any more stones and any more pine sticks lying on the floor so next time if i go to motel i'll just craft these hatchets here because sometimes you can find enough resources to open up
up all the walls here, but this time, guys, didn't have enough resources, so I had to take stuff from my inbox. Here we go, let's try to kill these dudes. And plus, there's another wall of zombies. Are you kidding me? Please tell me that at least this wall is gonna open up. Here we go, this wall didn't open up as well. What? Here we go, let's try to loot these bastards. What did they have? Nothing really that good. Here we go, let's try to hopefully, guys, I'll be able to chop down this wall. No, are you kidding me? I'll need to craft another hatchet. Wow. Wow. I think I've never been unluckier here. Plus, we got another level. I almost used, like, here, literally, guys, stack of... Stack of freaking carrots here. I would have definitely better used that machete. My stack of seeds and my other stuff on bunker alpha. Here we go. Let's take that spring. Other than that, there's really nothing much. Well, I could probably maybe take a phone, you know, to recycle it and yada yada. But again, guys, it's a newcomer's account. I don't really need it. Plus, I don't really have that much space here. What am I going to get rid of to take those phones? Well, and this room was total trash. There was nothing inside of it as we only got here. Uh, two coal and two planks. Nothing really that much special. Don't even have more space for it. Let's take the skill. Whatever, we're gonna take more bruiser health because most likely I'm not gonna raid in this account as raiding is total, total trash, guys. And I looted the TV. We got nothing, guys. Literally, so far here we got really nothing that much special. I looted all the place here. Now let's get out of here, brother. And let's open up that grill and the uh, car inside of the swimming pool. Here we go, guys. We're gonna loot this slow poke and we'll see what we're gonna get in shoot. And we didn't really get anything great. We just got a wheel and this trash. Nothing that interesting. Let's try to loot the grill. Nothing. So basically, guys, was it worth this? Was this location worth it? Totally not, guys. I will just tell you straight up that doing full motel probably isn't worth it. Like, some of you might say that, well, Cyric, it's possible to find here a gun. I did find a gun. I did find shotguns. I found Milkors here. I found C4s. This is best location ever, guys. Then you can go there. But for me, like, it's not worth the time. The point is, not everybody... I feel like all locations in Last on Earth have to be rewarded with how much time you spend here. And the amount of time I've spent here grinding, like for example, now I've spent here like almost 20 minutes, right? On this motel. Probably could be done a bit faster, but hey, I had to search for hatches, blah, blah. So let's say 15 minutes to do the motel, right? Fully. In 15 minutes, guys, I would get way more. I'd get 10 times more resources just by going to Pine Zone area and just farming for Pine Zone. So this is the loot that I got. Was it worth it, guys? I literally just got six duct tapes. That's probably the best loot that I got. And six duct tapes and six six glues it's not even that great got zero melee weapons as probably i wasn't really that lucky here but again I, you're not coming here for melee weapons you're coming here for some sort of loot you might have here maybe gotten like two usbs two phones but again that's not really worth it that's not the reason why we came here for we got nothing and i didn't even get here an energy drink so on motel you might hate me for that but again guys this is just my pure opinion i'm never gonna go to motel ever again except the only reason when I'll go there is after motel resets in one day and 12 hours. I'm gonna put my character again there to walk. And when I'll have free time, I'm gonna hop in there. I will open up that countertop where you can get an energy drink. I might also go and open up the truck there that's inside of the swimming pool. Because you can find there some good loot as well. And it doesn't really take that much time to get there. And that's it. So it's gonna take me like only less than 5 minutes to do that. It's gonna take like 2-3 minutes to open that countertop, open the car, and then go back to the base. That's the only thing that you should be doing in motel, other than that is just waste of resources. And my time could be spent better in, like, freaking green zone. Like, some of you might not agree, some of you say that you might find their best loot ever, but no, guys, you can't find their best loot ever. You're gonna find better loot in other zones. Just by doing pine zones, if you're gonna open up chests there, most likely you're gonna get better loot than in motel. Plus, I spent almost, like, full stack of carrots. I used, like, 14 carrots, too. So, I will say that motel isn't worth it. Like, I would probably say that it would be a great location like for example as an event but as a full functional location here i don't know in my opinion it's still bad but again guys this is just my opinion and what do i know some people won't like it like i said there will be people saying that motel is the best location that they've ever been to but in my opinion it's bad and i'm saying it from a newcomer's perspective i'm as level 22 i don't have here anything in the game and i know that motel is bad no one is gonna go there and all my friends that played last day on earth that's the funniest part the, all my friends that started playing last day on earth survival they went to motel once and they said that i'll never go there it's just waste of resources i didn't get there anything even they who had don't know any idea about the game even they say that it was bad so and it's not like even i told them that motel is bad they do motel themselves a couple of times and then they ask me like should i go to motel again because i did it a couple of times and i got nothing there i didn't get any weapons i just wasted my resources there and i'm just saying them yeah mo this is motel you're not gonna get there or anything and they just don't go there ever again because they know that it's trash 
Just to clarify, I'm not saying that Motel is useless. All I'm just saying that there are better locations rather than Motel. Because if you're going to Motel just for the sake of energy drink, right? Because sometimes you have a chance to get that energy drink super close. And that's probably the best thing you can get from that Motel. But it costs energy to get to that Motel. So if you're going there by spending energy, then it's not really that much worth it. But at the same time, again, with those energy drinks, you can store your energy. And... Eh. So it's not really that much worth it. There are better locations to go to rather than Motel. Just grind pine wood and you're gonna get more stuff. I said that already a lot of times, guys. Motel is pretty bad and I was pretty confident. But right now I'm gonna be even more confident that you shouldn't be wasting your time at Motel. There are better things to do in Last on Earth rather than just grinding Motel. All the dislikes of this video are gonna be for Motel lovers, so hey. So I highly suggest you check it out my Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. Just click here on the first card and you'll go straight away there. Click here on the second card and you'll watch a recommended video just for you. And I'm uploading such videos on YouTube every single day. So make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also, guys, drop that like button. Button while we're at it and peace 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 out mm-hmm